Welcome to Fabio's Kitchen Academy. Quick recipe for both professional and the home cook. Vodka sauce. Is it Italian? Is it American? Who does it? Who invented? Who's gonna side with what theory? We don't know. We don't care. It's delicious. So let's make a perfect vodka sauce with roasted garlic. Some people in Italy make vodka sauce with onion. Some people like a traditional clean tomato, the glaze with vodka and a little bit of cream. I like mine with roasted garlic. Actually, a boatload of roasted garlic. And how we do this? Very simple. By roasting garlic with butter. Fire underneath. Butter. I just said that. A good amount of roasted garlic. Look at that. There you go. Good amount of roasted garlic. There is only a few key way of made vodka sauce. You need to have a lot of heat. A lot of heat as soon as the garlic is roasted. A lot of heat, and let me show you. Chili flakes, a little bit of chili flakes with the garlic halfway through it for a little kick. Vodka sauce, it is a little spicy. Then you have raw tomato, yes, not cooked tomato, raw tomato puree. Then you blast it and you make it reduce. Then you add the vodka, then you cook the pasta with it. As soon as the pasta is al dente, you take it out and you finish it with the vodka sauce. So the starches releasing from the finish of the cooking of the pasta will thicken up the sauce as the cream also reduces it. There you have it. The garlic is nice and getting caramelized. Vodka. Hopefully there will be flame. When you flame things in food, it's like a summer love story. June, you guys are all hot for each other, super flaming, super sexy. July comes, who's you? Doesn't last very long, but creates good memory. In this case, memories of flavors. Look, you got the garlic there, which is starting to get roasted. It's a lot of fire here. All right, it's a lot of fire. Okay, I was not expecting this much fire. The fire is literally still going. Okay, um, enough. Let's get some hood right here because I think everything is, yeah, the light is gone. Oh well. You know, that. Then, tomato sauce. Raw tomato puree. Now listen, now listen up. Pinch of salt. Pinch of pepper. Lead. The tomato now has to boil out of control hot. You want it really hot, really boiling, all right? The same time, pasta goes in the water. Salted water, of course. Now, what's happening here? The high fire under the tomato is gonna reduce the, 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 the water within in the tomato sauce and make it evaporate really fast. That's why I left, I left the window open. I wanna cook the tomato quickly. The pasta will not take longer than six to eight minutes. By the time that the pasta is al dente, I'm gonna add the pasta to the sauce, the cream, and then we're gonna reduce it even further.
cream. All right, the one touch we gotta add, it's a little bit of tomato paste. About a tablespoon. And what we do, we're gonna get the tomatoes, we're gonna get the, we're gonna get the tomato paste, in the sauce. There you have it. Italian cook a lot with tomato paste. Tomato paste is nothing else than concentrated tomato that is being deprived of all the water into a very thick paste. It's like like it's like aged balsamic, it's concentrated. It creates color, ton of flavor, and it cooks the pasta, and it makes it beautifully incorporated with the sauce. Look at, the, look at this. Beautiful and reduced. Let's check the pasta. A few more minutes. So now that the sauce is reduced, I'm gonna turn it off. And here's what we're gonna do. The secret of a good vodka sauce, according to my family, is to add the pasta to the tomato sauce. And as you add the pasta, you add the cream and you let the pasta and the cream cook and reduce together. So the pasta is gonna actually absorb some of the sauce and gets a better depth of flavor. Look at how thick this tomato sauce has become. And the smell, ooh, the aroma, fantastic. We have about three more minutes for the pasta. Now, check this out. Man, that's hot. All right, look. See how dense the tomato sauce got? Grab the pasta with a little bit of pasta water, put it in. There. Cream pasta. Now the pasta is very al dente. Once this is reduced, I'm telling you, there is a fly. I, my, the last time, you know me, I'm like a Miyagi. I'm like the Italian version of Miyagi with flies. I catch them with my hand, I catch them with chopsticks, I catch them with the freaking towel. I'm telling you, there is a fly in the there is a fly in the kitchen, and it pisses me off because it's messing with me. You guys don't see these. You guys see a fly, just fly goes and go like that to me. Let's check the pasta. All right. Did you see it? Did you see it? It went like that. What are you looking at? He went like that. It's all the light. Bro, it ain't the light. It's a fucking fly. All right? I'm not losing my shit. Hold on. Stay there. I'm telling you, man, there is a fucking fly. I'm telling you, we're gonna be done today until I find this motherfucking fly. He went there. It's there. I see Michelle saw it too. Now makes the two of us. Where is it? It's in the first window. Shh, don't make a noise. Still alive. 
still alive. Where you go? Got it. Got it. Oh, it's alive. I don't know. No more. What did a fly do to you when you were a child? I hate flies. <laughs> I share that. Look at this. Son of a bitch. Hey, fly. Told All right. Who's gonna apologize to me first, Nick or Dan? Because Dan, you didn't believe, you didn't believe there was a fly either. I am sorry, I didn't see it. Really okay, let me wash my hand, then we can finish penne alla vodka, campanelle alla vodka. All right, guys, the pasta. Look at that beauty. Look at that, guys. Fantastic, absolutely delicious, campanelle, campanelle. I made vodka sauce with campanelle because Michelle gave me the campanelle. I could have done it with penne, rigatoni, fusilli, orecchiette, I don't care. Vodka sauce goes well with everything. But the reason, the only reason why we chose this wonderful pasta shape is because Michelle, our food stylist, she wanted to do that. And I'm not going to argue with it. I didn't even know we were doing vodka sauce until literally five minutes ago. So let's go. Look at this. Bam. Beautiful. Look at that. And then a good drizzle, not drizzle, sprinkle of Parmesan cheese. And the best olive oil that money can buy. Round of applause, Fabio. Great job. Look at this. Roasted garlic vodka sauce. Vodka sauce with onion, vodka sauce with garlic, vodka sauce with shrimps, chicken, super frowned upon, but that's okay if it makes you happy. Vodka sauce is a white canvas to add anything you want with it. Do you want some sun-dried tomato with it? Put it in. Vodka sauce is the canvas to paint a great flavorful dish with an awesome base. In this case, roasted garlic vodka sauce. You're watching Fabio's Kitchen. <sighs> and we cut the mother fly, bro. How happy I am right now. I am so happy. We got the flies. We got the flies. Hey guys, now that you've watched, you know this is a good recipe. How about you go share it for once?